I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. It's so quiet. It... it... Sweetheart, are you listening to me? They all go away. The deacon made them go away. Listen, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever it is, just let go. He haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisons me. He's trying to kill me. But you're... Oh, forget it. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. But that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plan's unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego of Story and Song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Do you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? On a date with Alexander the Great. Was it an accident or was it just fate? Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out and we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. Hey, Joey. What do you want, sweetheart? Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow considering what's been going on. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Susan? Nope, no more than you. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. My computer. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. There are so many sites about this and they all contradict each other. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction.
The girls were interested in Ouija boards, and they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? You coming? Yeah, sure. Man, I hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. You're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... I wasn't on the list at the time. I should be on it now. Oh, really? Well, let's check then. What was your name again? My name is Allie. Right. Well, you're still not on the list. I don't think they'd let dead people on the list, sweetheart. But good try. Thanks. Uh-huh. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. You're not on the guest list. Oh, well... That's because... You didn't see it? Maybe you should check again. I missed it, huh? I'm sure of it. Well, let's check again. What was your name again? My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? Alexander? Who's that? Ooh, that's cold. It doesn't matter. He wouldn't want to see me anyway. Not anymore. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? I'm not a doctor, but I can still help you, right? Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So, Susan, could you tell me what brought you here? I don't know. They think I'm crazy. Are you? Crazy, I mean. I don't know. They think so. I'd like to talk to you about your friend Joanne. You know Joanne? Sort of. What, what about her? Can you tell me about her? She's Joanne. That's all. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Susan? She just did. Don't know why. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The Deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. 
Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Yes. The deacon. He got in our heads. His voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. Just keeps going. I just wanted quiet. Peace and quiet. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet. Even her life. Was Kelly involved in any of this? Kelly? Joanne's roommate? Yeah. No. She always left when we came over. She didn't like us much. But that's okay. We didn't like her either. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. And now she can't. She... She was the first of us to go. Why is that? How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? We've already established this. I don't need to bring it up again. Can you tell me anything about Alex? Alex was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. <laughs>